Hey Internet, it's Color 40 back for another episode of Fire Emblem with Link the Hero 64. How's it going, guys? After speaking with the village magistrate, Elwood and company set their sights on Laos. The fet road to Fair A to Laos passes through Santaraz. Elwood suspects his missing father must have passed through Santaraz en route to Austin. Elwood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lord to see what he can learn. So basically, previously on Avatar. Uh, well, actually, it's like today on Liberty's Kids. <laughs> oh, man, deep cuts. <laughs> oh, Liberty's Kids is great. Uh, Liberty's Kids I did was, it again. Liberty's Kids was a great show. Yes. Like, legit show. Uh, <laughs> we kind of grew up. Oh, oh, remember this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy who, like, he's always kind of looking at you. Yeah. That guy's like an elderly. I, I remember my first playthrough, uh,. I like always saw him in the cutscenes, but I never really read what was happening. And I'm like, how come I never got to fight him? He would have just finished at one point. Plot twist, guys, that's actually Elliot under the hood. Oh, like, yeah. The facial oh, structure. Looks, eyes. He looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh, that one was going to be annoying. Oh, this one was actually pretty tough, too. <laughs> it's the song that says the Star Fox song for the first three seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Oh, man. You should, do a star, you should do a Star Fox 64 in Let's Play. You could do it in, like, one setting. It would be amazing. Ah, I might do that someday. No, thanks. I thought you'd be... <laughs> See, that would have been <laughs> the perfect time for you to do it. Like, it's my own way. No, thanks, General. <laughs> oh, it's this guy! Oh, look at that fat dude. <laughs> he looks nothing like an otter. <laughs> How does a bandit get that fat? He must have been stealing, <laughs> like, McDonald's. Just... Link, he's not fat. He's just... Ripped. <laughs> Are you gonna cut that part? Yeah, I'll just, just cut down. Here we go again, hey, America. Hey, America. That's not good old time. Oh, that's her. Nat his wife's Natalie, by the way. Yeah. She's in Ferry. Guide my axe, America. It's <laughs> the prayer I say every day. Right. Oh, you get enough for stat boost level. Or... That guy's fought a lot of battles. Yeah, bro. He's an old man. Okay. Let's see. We get a lot of those in this game. I always so. okay, so I like would always forget to use those. Oh, those those are good though, because skill is. Uh, so you have Rebecca. So I'm just kind of checking. Iron X. Okay. I was gonna burst into this guy's house. Oh, girl's house. It's important to trust your companions, yes? If you have a boon companion fighting at your side, <laughs> uh, you feel smart. I know I always have boon companion at my side. Oh, yeah. Hey, that was like, Continue, continue playing. I'm like playing Daniel Boon. <laughs> Alright, so. I think my one's gonna go get there. And you know what? Oh, actually, Bart Race got some. Oh, I would hesitate. That's good. Hey, Lowen. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to use Bart Race, so I'm not going to use the Dragon Shield. Uh oh. Oh, wise decision, Frank. Alright, Dwarf, you stop being such a dork. He took a hit, but this way we're going. Okay. We will see. She's right. right. Well, Let's see if Rebecca is powerful enough to finish that off. Oh, just. Miss? Nope. There we go. It's about That's time she hit. That's my girl. She goes hunting every day. So you think she'd have a good aim? Yeah. Hey, hey uh, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. You gonna stop me? No, stop the I remember this level being the first level in the game that actually has a tough boss. Uh, I'm just curious. Do you think he'll double attack? Definitely. Oh. oh okay. But he's guaranteed to hit, and Dorcas is probably gonna miss. Dorcas is just gonna sit there. Like All right. Right, right, right. Do you think by the end of this game, Lowen will have a hit? No. <laughs> he has one sprite. <laughs> no, no. But it'll be good. Which Kobe drinks, by the way. Oh, yeah. Kobe Bryant drinks sprite. So, backstory on that. We've got a friend who is obsessed with Kobe Bryant. And he once asked somebody to get him a sprite because. Could be explicit reason. <laughs> reason that Kobe, Kobe Bryant drinks, drinks <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Enemy phase. <laughs> deep cut, I know. Yeah, it was deep cut, but it was good. Oh, I yeah. I probably should pace myself when leveling up. I would just gonna stick. Probably pace yourself with that. 
Well, there's an armory right there, so I'm gonna stop by there and buy him an iron sword. Or there. a slim sword if they have. Actually, slim swords stink. It's like they're even weaker than iron swords and more brittle, but they have like five more. Yeah. Man, when is Hector gonna come? Oh, I just realized I should. Oh wait, no, I am moving always first. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I should always be moving first. Oh wait, you are. It's late. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, good. You can carry two things. Buying that, and I'm buying that. Yep, good call. Oh, he doesn't need to so move I've only spent 300 gold right now. Alright, so... Oh, there are there. quite a few enemies in there. But I was going to need some backup. See, it's smart to position your guys on the forest. Forts in the forest. Oh, yeah. Ah, he puts up a good fight for a pepper noble pop. It's up to me. This guy, yeah. this guy he moves. Around. He's one of the only bosses that actually moves independently at the moment. This is going to be kind of tricky. And he still doesn't attack twice against these. Level up. Common moves. Level up. Level up. That reminds me of a great, not so actually that great game that we were talking about really. Sonic Heroes. To be fair, Sonic Heroes was the probably the last really, well not really good Sonic game, but like the last Sonic game that I actually thought was a good Sonic game. Then, Sonic Colors was decent, but... See, I didn't play Colors. I gave up on Sonic Hard after like Shadow the Hedgehog and all those. Like, Shadow was bad. Secret Reigns was awful. Yeah, I just, I didn't even play that one. Like I didn't even play Black Knight. I thought Unleashed was good. The Sonic daytime stages were pretty good, but the nighttime stages were just awful. Sonic Bird. Oh, yeah! Okay, so I get Hector. Yes. Hector's the best. He looks like rough. You so. Uh, about this? Sunrise. What occurs here? Oh, hey, not. Sarah's going to appear here, but we don't get her on this stage. That counts as her appearance, so I guess you get her. And then it looked like you also get Oswald. Hey, not. So. Yeah. Alright, so you get Matthew, and I get Sarah and Oswald. Sounds oh, good. Man. I already right. got the healer, which is... Uh, Matthew's good, too. He's a thief. He Matthew, a Matthew so means that Link is going to get a good. lot of good loot. But and that, Sarah means I'm going to be able to heal my guys, and I don't technically have to heal Link's guys, but I probably will, because it's in my best interest. Alright, Hector has the Wolf Bale, which you really want to pace yourself with because it's an amazing weapon. I do, but at the same time, it's... Well, actually... Because at least, it says, well, probably not, what's the story? I will get another Rapier later on in the game, but that's the only Wolf Bale you will get. No, there's another one, don't you? No, nope, that that's only Hector's Hector story. story. You get two, oh, actually, okay. extra ones in Hector's story. Both at, like, the very end of the game. Hector is super powerful and great, and I, he's probably my favorite lord, but he's so weak, he does magic. You have to be very yes, you do have to be very careful, but he's pretty much invincible besides that, which is really nice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're like, I don't want you get the experience. Well, I mean, it's in my best interest to steal it. <laughs> well, you, you got them all last time. So. That is true. But the thing is, I doubt you're going to be do using Dorcas all that much now that you have Hector. That's true. Ooh, whopping zero resistance and 14 constitution. Good grief. <laughs> so this is, uh, of course, where it really, really helps to have Marcus be like a wall. That's true. But then again, I'm not worried about Owen since he's on a. Fort. I'm kind of just gonna keep him near in case I need to rescue right. you. Well, first thing I'm gonna. Oh darn it! Owen's just out of range. Owen could help uh, Oswin. All right. There. Well, Oswin, I am not even the slightest bit worried about him. Yeah, he's. He is literally might, a tank. We might need him for that boss. Him or Marcus? If I use Marcus. I'm gonna so try we, to keep, if you can weaken him down, one of us can. I'm gonna uh, try to keep him. I'm gonna try to keep Marcus so, close, just in case we need yeah. him. Because that boss is actually. Pretty good. See, the thing is, I really want Elwood to get that iron sword, but at the same time, I could just do that easily next. It's just you want Lowen more experience, or would you rather do? Uh, Lowen is a pretty low level, so. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, when you, uh, with colorful art, you can expect bad puns plenty. So those, uh... Ooh, critical! Oh, yeah. So those bandits you almost always attack twice against, which is... Yeah, the soldiers are terrible. They're pretty bad. In Sacred Stones, you... Oh, I forgot you have other Oh, I do? Oh, I'm just gonna have him wait. Um, in Sacred Stones, you actually get... <gasps> a, it's, it's, she's it's not actually class. a soldier, though. She's a recruit. They're different. It's basically the same class, though. I Amelia, think soldiers are a bit better, actually. I could not use Amelia. Like, I physically, she could not kill anybody. 
Partly because I didn't recruit her on the level she I was supposed to, so I recruited her maybe late in the game. And <laughs> it's just like you can't use her at that point. Extra baby. Ewan, on the other hand, is phenomenal in that game. But that's a different game. So yeah, let's so focus on this one. Can't hit which can't hit. I would have he always has to do that fancy sword twirl. <laughs> well, yes, he is a lord after all. Yes, that's very true. Oh, he's lord. Okay, now Oswin, Hector, and Lowen, who are three of our better units, are now stranded away from everybody. Marcus, you might want to help us out. Sorry, Rebecca. Still gonna do it. She needs the experience. Rebecca's bow is gonna break before you know it. No. To quote Michael Scott, I'm. That's my thing is, do I want to keep Dorcas? I thought you were going to say, my thing is, do I want to keep Dorcas alive? <laughs> you do, because he has your energy ring. Oh, you're going to get slaughtered by that guy. Oh, I know, I'm just making sure he doesn't affect me. Oh, I know. That's why I have Marcus there. I don't think Marcus can actually rescue Dorcas, because his constitution is so freaking high. Okay. Oh, he can. Okay, if you upgrade Dorcas, you can't rescue him. Uh, I'm gonna use him as a, a shield against Rebecca. Rebecca against Zagon. Yes, the boss's name is Zagon. Oh, I didn't. You I didn't move. Uh, you did not move Hector. Sorry. You're That's gonna be a problem. That arch. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well. I'm not sure if I want Oswald to get the kill. That's okay. I want. I, I, I would want. move Oswald down just so we, uh, like, if we need him for the boss. I don't think. We Eh, no okay, so we're almost done with this level. What do you what do you think in terms of changing up the turn order thing? Do you want I am all for that, just so one person doesn't haunt Do you want to at least try that maybe? Yeah, we should try that next level. Okay. That's, that makes sense. That also means we pass the controller around, I think, a little less. Yeah, that's true. That doesn't I mean that doesn't Okay. Let's see the thing is I really like it when standing on that base. Yeah. But at the same time Rebecca might want to stand on it. Uh but our race could get I mean, yeah, you're fine. Like you guys, your guys are safe. If you I don't want, want that hand axe equipped, no sir. I would just wait. Yeah. Back burn. I knew he was burn. going after Dorcas because he's gonna hook for sure. Yeah, I called that. Oh, here's something. You get to move first, but can you be like, hey, I want you to move your guy before I move, and I'm like, okay. Or was that alright? I mean. Because that, that'll definitely help us in the later stages. Where yeah, we're I mean, I guess if we both day. agree to it, I'm fine with that. Just so if I'm like, I want to move Elwood off that base, and you're like, oh, well, I would want to move my guy on that base. I don't want to, like, overly complicate things, I guess. Alright. <sighs> I know, you were trying to get Rebecca to finish that guy off. See, if he hits, she can, but there's just such a low chance of him hitting. Honestly, Dorcas has so much HP, might as well. Yeah, except for now, he's also in a, there's he's an archer, in a, though. Uh, that's true. So oh, and he is beaten up, so yeah, that I'm is not, I'm not going to. See, on a Hector's story of this level, Sarah and Matthew actually join you for combat. Oh, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, well, but there are also Pegasus Knights on that version. Oh. I'm yeah, such I mean, a nerd that I know that. That's right. I mean, <laughs> this is a great game. I have no problem with it. Watch, I'm gonna be like, oh, Actually, guess what? On this level, there are gonna be reinforcements that come from here. And you think you're gonna be like, what? I'm gonna do it. Good thinking, Dorcas. Good thinking, Tom. Awful <laughs> oh, show. Is that the Super Mario? That's the game? Super Mario Bros. Super Show. I may have been an experience hog. Oh wait, I don't think I moved Hector, did I? No, I don't think so. Well, Hector's on his in his own little world. Oh, no, I I know you did. did. Oh, I did. <clears throat> Alright. Actually, Mario's gonna, gonna make a pincer movement. Uh, well, I mean, he can't really move. Is he really gonna move for this? So, I don't think so. Well, Oswald can't really move, as you can see. So, okay. I'm gonna bring up so, a Okay, question. So, like, uh, as. At least with the people I know, like, since time has begun. A AKA since 2001 when the Game Boy Fits came out. <laughs> I'll say 2003 since this game came out. People have debated whether Fire Emblem or Advance Wars is better. Now, which I'm a fan of both, but I have my answer. But what, which, which are you more? Of a fan of? I'm definitely a Fire Emblem guy. I'm not a huge Advance Wars fan. 
Mainly, like, the difference between them is Advanced Wars is much more like, modernized, where you have like, tanks and stuff, and you can just keep building new units, whereas this, every unit matters, because it's the, the permadeath system. Right. I would say Advanced Wars definitely is better multiplayer than Fire oh, Emblem. Advanced Wars multiplayer is But easy. Fire Emblem has far superior campaign mode. So I guess it really just depends on what you like. Mm, okay, question for you. Yes. For Marcus. I can either keep him as a human shield, or I can open him See, up. See, if, you keep, if you keep him right there, Bartray can pick that archer off with his hand axe. Alright, I'll let you do that, because I'm nice. Thank you. No, Advanced Wars is good. And uh, my thing is, Advanced Wars, the campaign is fun. It's not as good as Fire Emblem. The thing I didn't like is that your units don't have as much personality, because in Fire Emblem, they're all actually hey, individual I, characters. I don't think this guy's a hand axe. No, Zag Zagon does not have a hand axe, but right. he is a little Um... Advanced Wars, like, I didn't like it as much because the, um, your units aren't oh, individual shit, characters, the they're basically just like, oh, it's, like, an, you know, it's, uh... It's infantry. It's a soldier, it's an APC. Whereas this, like, each character has its own personality. Okay. But, that said, you could make... Oh, oops, shit, sorry about You could that. make your own levels, which was cool. Oh, darn it, Bart Ray! He, he's not gonna make that path, let's be honest. Thanks, Obama. Yep, it's all Obama's fault. Uh, it's getting a bit political. <laughs> <laughs> Started it. I know. <laughs> well, maybe I'll cut that part out. <laughs> uh, I think both sides can enjoy a good thing. Honestly, by the time this goes up on YouTube, Obama's not going to be president anymore. <laughs> I mean, unless you put it up in January, he will be. I guess that's true. It depends on if I'm like, are we going to do the whole let's play before I start up voting it? <laughs> I don't think you have to do the whole, but I would... Oh, uh, shoot. Zagon's going to be on the mountains. Tell you what... That. Well, he's going to stay there if Marcus stayed there. I'm going to say, let him get on the mountains, then move Marcus back where Bart Ray is, and I'm going to have Oswin move up so we can basically make a two-man wall just to get Zagon off the mountains. And then we can pick him off without him dodging everything. One of the interesting things that I just thought about this is, so Fire Emblem has a system called the support system, where if you have two characters who are compatible next to each other, <coughs> um, and they like fight next to each other and um, you know, like end, end their turns next to each other, you'll eventually get these things called support conversations, where it'll be a little dialogue in between the two characters, and um, you'll get uh, it's dangerous stat, to go along you'll get take stat this. boosts essentially between the two of them when you do that. And it's a little harder to do in this one. It'll be interesting to see if we actually end up using that or not. Ooh, man, that guy can actually damage Marcus a handsome amount. Oh, Marcus is going to kill him. Okay, well, that was not <laughs> ideal, but... Marcus is going to actually get a <clears throat> decent... So, like, Artie, what are your thoughts on, like, the two of us doing the support system? I'd be up for it, but that's going to make for a really boring let's play, just because it's going to... Well, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, I'm not wait. saying that. Just I'm saying naturally in the course of the game. Like, maybe you get, like, Hector and Elwood or something. Oh, well, yeah. Some, some of the easier ones. Keep in mind, you can only ever have five supports with a given character. Okay, so that was not ideal. Marcus killed a lot of the guys. Oh, is that all of them? Hector, where'd you come from? Well met, Elwood. From the north. Hey, actually, people can read, so that's fine. Uh, I mean, I'm up for that. It just has to be mutual. Like, hey, you want to support this guy? Right. I think it'll probably just end up happening. <laughs> probably. Because a lot of, okay, so in like in Awakening, because you have the whole um, partner system or whatever, mm -hmm. where you can team up. That makes it a lot, lot easier. It's a lot easier. This one, it's, it's very, you have to be very much more um, intentional. About it. Yeah. Like, I think if you fight next to people, it boosts it a lot faster than just win. Oh, oh, no, for sure. Okay. When, basically, when I went, when I played through this uh, game, <laughs> and I was trying to get supports, because getting all the supports is a huge hassle, I literally just had the units wait next to each other for, like, 150 turns. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm not that strict, strategic. <laughs> well, and it's, I mean, it's one of those where, like, I thought the conversations themselves were cool, because you just got kind of, like, a little back and forth between uh -huh. two characters, and it could be two characters who it's, like, they never talk in the actual story mode. <laughs> like, you could have, like, Oswin and Sarah or something. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, one of the funny things is Sarah is super annoying. So, like, she's always the last person. Pretty much every person who can support her wants to support. Except Lucius. Lucius is nice. Yeah, he's that nice guy. Um, but, yeah. Lucius is a dude, by the way. Yep. You know, the name of Lucius. Hey, Lucius. Hey, Lucius. <laughs> His last name is not Malfoy. Yeah, that's true. Even though he kind of looks like Lucius Malfoy. He doesn't. He looks like a girl. Well, I mean, they both have long blonde hair, so. Malfoy does not have that long hair. Lucius Malfoy totally has long hair! Oh, oh I'm sorry. Lucius Malfoy. I was thinking, uh, uh, 
You know, the guy dances around everywhere. Wait, wait, is Lucius the kid or the... No, Lucius is the adult. Yeah, the father. Yeah. Okay. I was so thinking, Murko, I was thinking, what do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty good. Um, I was thinking Draco for a sec. Yeah, no, I... I you're right. This is Murica. This is Mur <laughs> I require tactical aid in search of my father. Right? Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan. You know, Murica, you're very yeah, young. Yeah, 200 years. <laughs> I don't know. 200 years. 240 years. Oh, yeah, 40, I'm sorry. Bad math. Murica is my trust. <laughs> you, well, we Murica. should just, like, screen capture, like, a bunch of these. <laughs> Have you been, Murica? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot Matthew's trying insane. to hide the fact that he's a thief. Not that smartly, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you meet Matthew okay, and America's Sarah. Great American milk. Bah, takes you over. meet Matthew and Sarah both in Win's story as well. America, is it really you? It's for fun. Okay, this is going to be hours of entertainment. Right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so the question remains. Do you want to do another episode? Heck yeah, I'm up for that. Do you want to break it up, or do you want to just do this? Honestly, we can one? do one video and I can just split it into two. It's fine. Okay. All right, we'll see you for the next episode.